Hello everyone. I hope all are doing great. Uh, actually, I, I thought to do a quick, uh, I mean, a very quick video and a very useful video for you. So, like, you know, uh, there is a one, uh, like, obviously, there is some Microsoft Docs that if you want to learn this particular uh, F&O, okay, if you want to learn finance and operations technical, so there is some particular link for this particular, uh, you know, uh, the learning module so that you'll be able to learn the things uh, with the, I mean, uh, with this Microsoft Docs. So, this is the official link of a Microsoft documents i mean uh, see here docs.microsoft.com and you can able to learn the i mean finance and operations by using this particular you know module okay so here why i'm saying all this is actually you will be getting some visual studio uh, practice i mean practice environment for free okay so this is actually one um, advantage that i can say so let's uh, i'll just show you guys so that uh, somehow a few people might practice or a few of the freshers uh, that they are if, if they are really not having uh, any subscription based actually uh, microsoft dynamics 365 finance and operations is a subscription based so as if some people cannot afford it right so uh, that people can use this uh, particular uh, app for free okay so how that uh, we'll just check for example, see there are some modules for the learning path. So if you want to learn this uh, uh, finance and operations, there are some learning paths that is provided. So what you have to do is first you have to check for all this particular uh, I mean introduction of this particular customized finance and uh, operations app by using Visual Studio. So you have to just go for introduction. You have to read all this. So you will be having you know a few things and check your knowledge see there is some check your knowledge to like there is there will be some ki uh, quiz kind of so you'll be able to uh, answer few questions and uh, if it is right you'll be able to uh, i mean check that particular questions whether that is a right or wrong okay and there is some lab as well see here there is some lab they have gave to create a project and add element right so in the same way <clears throat> you will be able to see in this for example in the same uh, d3 i mean development x plus plus so you'll be able to see uh, here see there is no lab right there is no lab so in some particular uh, i mean in some particular modules you'll be having lab and in some particular modules you will not be having lab let me just go for some other develop develop object oriented code so let me just click on this so you'll be having some lab exercises right so now we will just see how to access this particular lab for free okay let me just click on lab now so after clicking on lab so you'll be able to see loading virtual machine right so here this unit requires a vm to complete vm mode provides a free web-based virtual machine environment to complete the steps in this unit so what you have to do first you have to read this when you are start when you are about to start your lab okay so what it is saying here you can't sign in with your own credentials okay this is a uh, mandatory that you can't sign in with your own credentials so for with which you have to sign in so there are some credentials here in this email you can check so there are some credentials already given so with this uh, uh, current credentials only you have to uh, i mean uh, you have to enter it okay after entering the credentials i'll just show you everything practically okay so just i'm just reading out so how this can be used okay after that uh, <clears throat> in networks window that opens actually we have to select no to not to not allow your pc to be discoverable so you will be able to see a powershell window a windows command window appears after about two to three minutes they will close the internet explorer will open i mean they'll close and internet explorer will open automatically wait for to navigate sign in so after sign in you you can able to sign into this particular thing okay so let's first um, go ahead and uh, we'll just try to see how this labs looks like and you'll also get some idea right so just click on launch vm what it is saying here email is required to activate a sandbox or a lab so you are so first what you have to do now here you have to sign in actually 
so there is a user button right so you have to sign in so let me just take a while and sign in about this and so what you have you have you should have a microsoft account okay so now i'll just sign in and i'll just be back so it is loading the virtual machine it might take some uh, you know some time to load it so next it is checking something here so it is saying that loading your lab content and this can take several minutes okay let's wait actually it depends upon you know some inter i mean internet speed as well so no problem let's wait for a couple of minutes and uh, we'll just able to see a vm okay So it's taking a uh, uh, lots of time. So let's wait uh, for a couple of minutes again. So yeah. So if it is actually lengthy, I'll just cut this video, and uh, I'll just tell you how much time that it took for me. Like whenever it is loading this particular you know VM, so I'll just tell you in a video like how much time that it took took for me, so that you can wait for that particular time. so as i said before that it might depends upon our um, you know uh, computer speed uh, sorry internet speed that you are um, exactly using see here wow uh, it's loading <clears throat> and now since this is a administrator it is asking so first what you have to do is uh this is completed right so administrator now password so you have to type password just go for a resources so for administrator you have already password is this one right pass at the rate w o r d 1 so at uh, instead of that you can just click on t so that it will be able to it will be able to here paste it okay and click on this particular uh, i mean this so let me just close this no so as i said that it will uh, whenever that you are asking that you have to click as a no uh, that we have uh, learned in uh, instructions right so first you have to learn the instruct i mean once once you learn this instructions what it is saying and later just go for a i mean uh, the whatever the uh, you know uh, it is providing i mean the username and password is providing okay so let's see so as it said before in the instruction set some uh, what it will be open so after pressing no you will be able to see powershell right so we are able to see this powershell okay so and windows command window also this is also command window wait let me just show you here so there is a command window after 2 to 3 minutes they will close and internet explorer will open wait for it to navigate to sign in page see here whatever the, that they have gave in the instruction it is doing the same right so on microsoft sign in page finance and operation insert your mouse cursor into your username field okay now we have to go to the resource tab now we have to go to the resource tab of the law, i mean lab side bar below azure portal heading so you have to do this okay below azure portal heading where is this this one so username right Just just type this. So now just click on next. So just click on uh, T. That's it. So just click on T again for password. So just click on sign in. So after this, okay. So just click on stay connected. click on yes 
so it will load the finance and operations that means it loads the client okay let's go for our instructions do we have any other things <clears throat> so as we have stored the password on virtual machines so that's it so there is a scenario that to create a new project so this is completed right now this is opened it for us so now this uh, front end is open for us so here has you observed there is a timing right 3 hours 55 minutes remaining means it will i mean they gave a time to practice for us like 3 hours 55 minutes they gave a time to like to use this virtual machine for 3 hours and 55 minutes okay so now what you can do is you you just open the visual studio so this is a visual studio 2017 okay just run as the administrator so yes so actually the new version is uh, now i mean the new thing that we are using here is a visual studio 2017 only so the, uh, whatever the new uh, version that we have that one only you will be able to see in this particular uh, practice lab okay so now you are able to see this particular visual, uh, virtual machine and you can create your own projects and you can create your own model as well okay this like you know i'll just show you quickly uh just go to the dynamics 365 so i don't want to i'm i'm i mean i'm not going to explain all the things so like how to create a model but just uh, uh, how to add this particular uh, model or how to add some project i'll just show you um let me uh, let's uh, just give some time for this and uh, it will just um, open it so it is asking a model name so we'll just go with our uh, youtube uh, channel name so you can just give your uh, publisher i mean for example if your if your name is x okay you can just give a, in the place of model publisher the name of whoever uh, just creating the model okay um, model description is not mandatory if you can just give a model description that that is depends upon uh, i mean your thing so i'm just clicking on next and also like if you want whatever that you can select you can select whether it is a new package or a select existing package as i'm really not going to uh, tell you now how to create a model just i'm just showing how to create some uh, like you know a project or something in your particular vm practice machine okay just click on next so after that you have to select some referenced packages and click on next and here see here create new project so there is a summary whatever that you have selected you will be able to see the summary and if you want to create a new project after clicking on finish you have to make i mean just click on the finish and if uh, if you check in this you will be making this default model for any new project means if you are trying to create any new projects also this will be a default model you can give a particular uh, solution name that what you need like uh, <coughs> lab session and you can give a, a project name here in the top uh i mean it's uh, you you can just give according to your requirement i'll just give again, the same name for uh, like whatever the solution name that i gave so i'll be just giving the same name as um, the project name okay let me just click on okay okay so after just clicking on okay you will be able to see that particular thing in your solution explorer right so after just you can add your particular uh, you know objects like uh, clicking on add new item if you want to add any tables forms whatever that you can add it according to your requirement okay in this way that you can practice it and after adding all those things you can directly export okay whatever the project that you have created whatever the lab session that you have created you can easily export this okay and whenever okay so in this way that you can use vm for free so i hope uh, definitely this will be useful for you guys so that's it for today thank you so much